Uh, let's go to Zanzibar. Can I post it from here? Yeah. Zanzibar. Zanzibar indeed, yes. It doesn't say Zanzibar. Uh, it does come under Tanzania. It's, oh, that's a republic. It's a letter. Yeah. person that Gertie comes around to say hello to. What's the bank like today? Oh, it's sort of crispy and frozen in places, but uh, yeah. it's cold enough yesterday to come in the car today, rather, oh, than, yeah, no rather than the tractor. <laughs> the tractor was, yeah, well done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 270, please. How's the snow today? Oh, still there. Some people. Yeah, yes, we can do something. <laughs> right, thank you very much. Have we got any lambs? Yeah, there's a few coming. Outside? Yeah, yeah they're right. Will they? They stick it dry cold, it is. So wet, they don't like no, is it. No, that'll finish them straight. But... coming here. I, I'm not quite sure when this was built. I think this would have been about the 1850s, 1840s then. So, keep as much as we can. That's it. <laughs> Come on in. I'm sorry about the mess, but we're busy, man.
yeah. So yes, uh, we opened this up, this section up. Um, this is part of the original house. Um, it's um, uh, what, like I say, it, it, it's going back um, to the medieval times when this would have been the solarium up above. And I said to the gentleman that came round, well, it's very funny having that beam across there. And he says, well, that's where they put the ladders to go up on, because this would have been the um, headman's section. Everybody else would have lived down on the rushes. Yeah. And um, so, well, this actually runs from one side of the house to the other. This one beam. In the old um, uh, the wood down there, there are saw pits. So um, I dare say a lot of this would have come from there anyway, over the time. But the lamb hasn't got a name yet. I hope he won't have a name. He'll be out and gone. So tell us about the lamb. <laughs> well, he's telling you himself. Actually, yesterday he was curled up. He was going cold outside. So um, it was a case of couldn't find his mum. So down he came. And revive him. So the wood fire now is, mo is its mother at the moment. He'll get better. I should know that uh, the weather always changes at this time of year. Always. Make a mockery of us. Yeah. It'll be warm again before you know it, won't it? Um, let's get the first week of April over with. Then I'll start thinking about spring. So, yes. school was very vibrant. A large part of the village sort of disappeared then when it was closed. It came up for closure and we fought and fought and fought. They had meetings, really tried so hard. And I think people really couldn't believe it that it was actually going to happen and then it did happen. Most people in the village are older now and I, I was just trying to think. I don't, I don't actually think there are any, any children in the village now. And of course, if you're not going to be a farmer, what are you going to do if you live here? <laughs> so most children, once they get to that sort of age, unless they're far from a farming family, they leave, like all our children did. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them will like, uh, they'll be up and down, like they'll be lying down, then they'll get up, then they'll like go around in a circle, like almost making a nest in the straw sort of thing. And then they'll be bawling all the time, like calling for a lamb, even though it hasn't lambed yet. And then you get like uh, a string or sort of thing of like slime or a water bag out the back end. And then that's a fair sign that they're going to lamb then, like. And then you just keep an eye on them, hopefully, like majority of them, they will lamb themselves. But then, of course, there is a couple you'll have to help pull, but not too many, luckily. Not too many. Farming still is a lifestyle. There's no two ways about it, because if you were doing it for money, you, you wouldn't do it. You'd never ever, you know, like they say you can stack shells in Tesco's for nine pound an hour. Well, we don't take nine pound an hour home like, nothing like. And anybody that tells you they are, is doing something totally different to sheep farming. 
Lamb is a luxury food. And uh, when times get hard, people do without luxuries, don't they? So uh, we're trying to compete against the uh, chicken and pork that are intensively reared in buildings. And um, just because of the sheer numbers they put through, they don't have to make a lot of profit per animal. Whereas with us, our costs are just that high. At the moment, it's, you know, if you're not happy in what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it. There's far too many people go to work just for the sake of earning money so they can afford their holidays and things. That's not a lifestyle to me. If you've got to put in 48 weeks of the year so as you can have four of enjoyment, then I feel you're doing something wrong. Because uh, I don't know about the boys, but I've never had a morning night I want to get up. You know, I always want to come to work. This is what I come for. Sheep and producing new life, producing food. And uh, yeah, if I want to have an afternoon off, no matter what day of the week it is, so long as we can cope, we have an afternoon off. Yeah, it's a way of life. So hopefully Monday, the snow will have gone, the sun will shine, and the lambs will be out. <laughs>